What's going on YouTube? This is BM Cool 247 and this is my review on the Flash Forge Finder three years later. Now I did a pr three pros and cons uh, three years ago and I wanted to update that with three new pros and cons to the Flash Forge Finder. Uh, I've been printing a good amount ever since, a lot actually. Uh, and I'm going, I'm planning to print a lot more during this COVID time. So let me go ahead and get right on into it. So first with the cons, the first one uh, is with the leveler. The leveler inside of the, of the head here broke for me. So it doesn't automatically stick out anymore. So I have to manually with my finger, uh, bring out the leveler. So when it lands on the bed, it, um, that's the other one being done. It uh, detects when it's hitting the bed floor and I have to kind of trick it a little bit because uh, the leveler is a little messed up. So that's one con that that, that one broke off. Uh, two, there is warping sometimes since this is not a heated bed, uh, you do experience some warping. Uh, that can be helped with the glue stick a lot. I re highly recommend using glue sticks um, or changing the print bed uh, for a brand new adhesive, uh, a more adhesive material of a bed. So, but yeah, the, it doesn't, uh, it does warp um, when you get a lot of long flat prints uh, from time to time. But if you have a good temperature uh, to your filament and things like that, if you have that balanced down, then you can just start nailing a bunch of prints and just running, running them smooth, smoothly moving forward. And number three, the third con would be the clogging. I haven't had a clog in uh, a few months now, uh, knock on wood. Uh, maybe because I just been through so many times, I just know what to experience. Uh, but sometimes you gotta like push with your fingers uh, uh, from the outside with the, uh, the filament and push down to have it go through, to help it go through a little bit. Obviously you don't stick your finger inside of it, just uh, on the outside push in. Um, there's tools you can, there's like metal tools that it came with that you can use to stick in to clear out a clog or I've done many times, which is to unscrew it, the whole thing and then go in and, uh, unclog it that way when you can see it more visibly. So, uh, I hope that helps you there. Let's go into the pros. The first pro, the three, three pros, the first pro is it heats up fairly quickly compared to other printers uh, that I've seen and it gets right to the point so it, sa it does save a lot of time uh, if you do a lot of printing uh, in instead of having to wait for it to heat up or having to wait for it to do its little shenanigans to set up it just gets right to the point uh, number two is the ability to change the to take out the bed so this guy right here you're able to pull that out and then you can uh, pry it off with the uh, with the tools um, to take it off the print bed. And in addition, you can also take off the, the mat that it's on, the, uh, the surface itself. It's just an adhesive uh, sticker, essentially. So you can take that off and change it. Uh, Overture uh, sends, essentially, these beds, these adhesive beds to, uh, to replace as well for, in addition to their filament, which is pretty cool. Um, but I also bought my own Flash Forge um, uh, adhesive bed, so that's pretty nice. And then the so that 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 helps with uh, ad adhesion for sure. And the third thing is it's been three years. This is pretty dang reliable, uh, and I print a good amount and a lot overnight with it because I don't like waiting nine ten hours for a print. Uh, this one's gonna go into the night as well. Um, but yeah, they're they're. These, this thing's a tank. Uh, I do have the yellow one, the Flash Forge Finder Lite on the right hand side. I have some other things to say about that one, but for the Flash Forge Finder itself, it's a tank. It's really reliable. It's a great printer. You, you learn about how to print um, more and more, uh, or you know, you learn about how your printer prints, and then you can adjust according to that. I think that's what it comes down to. So no matter I feel like no matter what printer you have, it's all about learning how it works and that where it's good at. And then um, then going from there. And then it's a good learning experience and you can get some good prints off of it. Here's, here's just a quick example. Uh, it's 
pretty dark over here, but let me see. Of a, of just like a box print. There it goes. There's some shine to it right there of a box print that I've done. So that's just an example of, of some of the things I print with that. All right. Hope this helps and uh, look forward to my other videos. I'm going to uh, do another review and, and make, maybe even make like a tips and tricks on, on what else I would do on the flash forge finders, uh, this regular one and the, the light one. All right. Thanks for watching.